what's up folks welcome back to the channel today we are going to be working on the Busa we're going to be putting new brake pads on the rear all right so here's a few things that we'll need some gloves some brake parts cleaner pry bar torque wrench Ratchet in the socket, some hex bits, or whatever you want to call those, and the most important is the rear brake pads. So, let's get into it. Actually, before we get into it, I'm going to just go over exactly uh, how, to, how to do it and explain um, what needs to be done so you guys get a better picture before you see me do what I'm about to do. So, let's get into it. So here's my rear brake caliber. Um, kind of zoom in here. Let's fix that. All right. Kind of zoom in here. You'll see the two brake pads, the old ones. They're pretty bad. There's really no meat on them. The caliber um, piston is pushed all the way out, exceeding, um, and it's making it really hard for me to stop when uh, it's time for me to put those brakes to you. So that's why we're fixing it today and putting some uh, some new ones on so anywho uh, basically what needs to be done is there's going to be one bolt there that you want to take out and this pin um, the pin or rod or whatever that's going through the uh, two brake pads already needs to be taken out and we're just going to swing this brake caliber up um, and these should drop out so let's get into it Now, as you can see, that fast and that simple, the brake pads are out. The shim that's holding the brake pads in are out. <clears throat> ah, look at how rough shape these brake pads are. Barely any meat. This one definitely doesn't have any meat on there. And that is 100% why we are taking these out. All right, now it is time to actually clean all of this with some brake parts cleaner because it needs to be cleaned out. As you can see right here, the caliber piston is pushed out. So when I go ahead and I push it back in, I don't want to get any dirt or anything back in there and uh, hurt the integrity of this caliper. So, um, let's get to that. Gloves. 
All right, I think that's good enough. <clears throat> now, let's actually get this or try. I heard that these pistons are easy to push back in by hand. We're gonna try that. Um, if it doesn't work, then we're going to um, go to using the pry bar. So let's try it now. Alright, you actually can put those back in um, by hand. They're not all the way back. It's not all the way back in, but it is definitely easy to push in by, by hand. I'm going to continue to try to get it as flush as I can, and then we can continue on. Got it in probably uh, not flush enough, so I'm gonna try something else. What I'm doing is putting the brake pedal back in there so I can press against that. Evenly. Looks like that did it. So <clears throat> now we can continue on with the procedure and uh, put the new brake pads back on. But first, a few things need to be done real quick, which is I just sprayed off this pin that goes through the brake pads. Clean that off. Same with this gym, because we're going to reuse this gym. Alright, so the next part we're going to do 
is actually a stall the replacements these are the new brake pads um, those are the old ones the nasty nasty ones here's my shim here's my rod that goes through got a rod you see it goes through the circles that are holding the brake pad what you want to want to do is uh this is cheap i picked this up from AutoZone for like a dollar brake lubricant never replace brake pads without using brake lubricant all right so you need that so what we're going to do <coughs> excuse me is we're going to lube up this rod giggity um and then same thing for the back of each brake pad always want to do uh always want to do that any metal on metal contact you're always going to want to lube that up um, so let's get into that And that's probably all you need for the back. Then, for this pin here, I'm gonna take that, use a pretty good amount of the pin. Just make sure it's all the way lubed up. And, I think that's probably good. Set that down. Spread this across the back of this plate here. For this one, try not to get it on the actual brake pad itself. The actual pad that makes contact with your rotor, you don't want that, do you? All right, set that down. Everything's lubed up. Now it's time to switch gloves. pads are in now it's time to get these rings set up I can take my gloves off tighten everything back up bolt back in for the caliber make sure it's lined up goes in finger tight so you don't strip any threads and then once that's in put brakes on my bike Tighten this back up. Now there is this is a certain spec that it needs to be tightened up. My internal 
uh, says that it's tight enough. I do have a torque wrench, um, but I don't have the drive to fit the actual um, thing to fit on there. So I'll get that at a later time and tighten it to spec, but for right now, this is fine. Um, and that's pretty much it. The only other part is to make sure I pump these brakes up because the caliber is all the way decompressed. So if I were to go and ride this right now like this, I would go to use my rear brake and it would fail because, well not fail, but it would take extra time to stop. So let's go ahead and pump the rear brake. And just like that, we're done and uh, I have brakes now. Yay, I'm happy. And there it is. Easy as that. New brakes are in right there. Um, and we can stop. So, if you like these type of videos that are kind of informal and uh, they teach you uh, how to do certain things, uh, whether it's a motorcycle, truck, whatever. Um, please subscribe to the video or please subscribe to my channel. Um, this is a new channel that I just started uh, not long ago. Um, trying to really get some uh, subscribers uh, so I can uh, go ahead and show people different things that uh, you can do, whether it's uh, aftermarket or just doing simple repairs like today. So uh, hope everyone liked the video. Uh, remember to subscribe, please, and look forward to my new videos. Peace.